abandoned and destroyed caravan there guys just as you can see windies smashed in door ripped off the sides wonder if the guy's selling that did you think that you should again make him an offer guys or maybe I should just stay in that this evening wow man that's the side of the road eh? in the campsies well, enjoy. Well, right, Tasha, I can tell you something, may have had uh, better ideas than this one. But as you can see, I am cruising through the camp sees me in this weather. In the distance, I see green fields where the sun is melting all the snow and the ice. But in front of me, I see freezing bitter cold snow and in the, the, the distance I really see black clouds of threateningness to the left there and we've got as you can see your Highland Coup to the left there your big classic Highland Coup look at this big guy right here to the beautiful area of Fintry. Now ladies and gentlemen, I first went to Fintry in 2002. And ladies and gentlemen, I was in Fintry, right next to the rugby fields, while watching a game of rugby. That had my very first shot of what is known as a half pipe. And now these half pipes that the skateboarders do. What, what was it in within me that made me believe I, I could just turn it and tap it by the things on a skateboard and just skate right down it like the right of the day? I didn't think I was going to be able to do any funky manoeuvres or anything like that, but I, I really fundamentally believed that I was going to turn it and tap it this thing on the skateboard, just push down onto it and groove down this thing the way skateboarders do their thing. So ladies and gentlemen, what it, what it resulted in was me nearly killing myself. That much to the point that I, I couldn't even walk the next day. Guys, we have reached the stunningly beautiful area of Fintry, as you can see right there, guys. And we are in the heart of the campsies, guys. The hills and the glens are surrounding us. The beautiful wee cottages are left and right. And there's a stunning wee church to your left here, which you can see, which looks right onto some beautiful hills, beautiful glens. And ladies and gentlemen, I love it. Fast forward about an hour, guys, and we have arrived in Stirling. Just heading up to the Wallace Monument here.
legends at the monument. So guys, currently right now, I'm slipping in a sliding right up the frozen path that takes you up to the Wallace Monument and I have just nearly decked a belter up ahead of me I see some people closer to the top of the hill as I stroll up here so guys it's a first for Everton big belter to the Wallace Monument you see it you see it in all its glory and you say to yourself oh, maybe I'll stroll up there one of these days and obviously I've chosen a day where it's absolutely Baltic and it's a slipper and a slider of a groover so up at the Wallace Monument we've got some funky wee uh, seat there I don't know if they're meant to have naheeds but they look like medieval men from back in the day and up here is your glorious Wallace Monument guys let's see if we can get to it Without killing herself. Public path, Wallace Monument, here we go. So as you can see, this path is just completely and utterly iced up to the maximum. And there it is man, there's the belter. Wow. Okay, so let's just slide across this path, if we can, guys, as you see here, out with the shorts on, hardcore Seamus, none of this trackies and socks material, no need. And there's some other carved out of a tree bench for us to sit on, guys. Right, I'm going to kill myself here, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to make a manoeuvre, I'm going to make this manoeuvre. We're up this way to the National Walls Monument, you're almost at the top. Wow. This is insanity. This is insanity jump. Okay. There's the material we need to go into this. Okay guys, the building of the monument, 1861 till 1869. Much of the stone used to build the National Wallace Monument was quarried on site, but it would still have taken a lot of hard work to get it to the top of the abbey. A small railway track was laid for the... I can't read that. That ice is too much on it. There we go guys. A small railway track was laid for the workmen to cart equipment and materials up and down the Fihon on 10 foot hill. On the 27th of June 1864, William Munn, the foreman of the masons, was descending in one of the carts when one of the bolts in the chain gave way. The cart gained such great speed that he was thrown from the vehicle and sadly lost his life to the injuries he occurred. Did you know the Abbey Craig is likely to have been the headquarters for the Scottish Army? It offered William Wallace and Andrew de Morey a great vantage point of the land where the famous battle took place. Let's charge one up there guys. If I go that pathway that's winding round I'm going to kill myself so I'm going to, need to go directly up in other hills in the glens guys through the snow and avoid all this ice that's became built up on the path so we're off-roading here guys 
and we're strolling right up to this Wallace monu Monument boldly. I tell you guys, there's nothing like being a tourist in your own country. Nothing like it. Get out there and get into it. Yet again, I'm going to take this side pathway. That is brutality up there. Through the middle. Oh, fuck me. There we go. There we go, guys. Who have we got there? Looks like Rabbit Barnes to me. Hey, Rabbit. How's it going, brother? Main man. That's where you pick your paint. And there, that's looks like Robert the Brewster. So, what else we? Here we go, guys. Historical heroes. The Hall of Heroes is one of the most distinctive chambers inside the National Wallace Monument. It recognises the achievements of Scots who have made important contributions contributions to society in Scotland and in countries all around the world. The first bust of Robert Burns and of King Robert the Bruce were installed in the gallery in 1886. The philanthropist Andrew Carnegie donated the bust of Robert Burns and the bust of King Robert the Bruce was donated by the Marcus of Butte. Over the years, more busts were donated than by 1907. There were 16 individuals altogether commemorated in the gallery. In 2019, the first female figureheads were introduced to the Hall of Heroes. Good stuff. Because we like a bit of equality, don't we? Don't we? Robert and Robert. Two rabs. The two rabs, guys. And there it is up there. Yet again. Guys, I'm not going to go that way. Because what you'll see me doing is sliding right back down there. We can't be having it. So it's up through this. It's up through the vibes, man. Right up through it. Wow. Woo! The wall is monument. Jesus. <laughs> Guys, mate. Yeah, again, I'm walking on the old ice. Let's grab my head. Who have we got here? Who have you, brother? Tell you what we've got right here. That's the information that we need. The Barnwell Brothers, 1909. Frank Barnwell and Harold Barnwell were born in Lewis from London but moved to Balfron, aged just two and four in 1882. Imagine moving from London to Balfron in 1982. In 1882. In 1907, the brothers set up with the Grampian Engineering and Motor Company in Causeway Head, just down the road there, and it was here where they built and finished their first aircraft in 1908. Quick work. Unfortunately, this plane and their several other attempts had one major problem. They couldn't get off the ground. And as you know, guys, that's a bit of, that's a bit of a mission when it comes to planes. However, in July 1909, this all changed when one of the aircrafts flew to the great height of 13 foot and landed after eight yards in the fields of Causeway Head. This was Scotland's first powered flight. You can visit the sculpture which was commissioned to commemorate Scotland's first powered flight. It is located by the Causeway Head roundabout just below the Hill Foots Road. I just drove up there. Guys, so I did. And what we can see here is that there's your man there with his big aeroplane blade. Respect to you, brother. The Barnwell brothers out there trying to get in about the joys of flight. Yet again, guys, I'm looking up that way. I'm charging right through. I'm charging right up to this absolute belter. There's a slide on the way back down. Back in here. And there it is. There's a wee wooden there, isn't it? The National Walls Monument was built between 1861 and 1869 to commemorate William Wallace, Sir William Wallace. John Thomas Rockhead won the competition to design the monument with his Scottish baronial style design. The monument has 246 steps and stands at 220 feet high. The design features a crown, spire, turrets and gun loops. 
which are traditionally found in Scottish castles and other ancient structures. Inside the monument there are three exhibition galleries which tell the story of Scotland's national hero and his legacy. Can you claim the mini monument in preparation for the real thing? <laughs> Here we go guys. I'll charge up to this. Wow. So I can hold on to the railings here. Look at this. Guys, I'm literally ready to prepare myself for these views I'm about to see. Wow. My God. Wow, man. Look at this. Guys, this is absolutely stunning. There's Edinburgh, there's Stirling Castle in the distance. Right there. On the big hill. Wow. Jesus. People have been getting these views since 1869. It took me guys 44 years, 2022, to start and witness this. Jesus. Wow. And look at this belt out here, man. <laughs> Wow, look at this place by the way. Oh, look at the big man right here. There he is. It is Scotland, you go to you go to have a in the door. Jesus man. Whew. I should I should have brought the munchies up here. Made myself a wee little sausage up here guys. As it is, stoves in the motor, way back down there, but I've just went an absolute mission to get up. Look at that place, mate. Oh.
So guys, I've made it here, man. I've actually made it to the Wallace Monument of all places. I'm pretty amazed at the view up here. I've got to say it's a stunner. There's no many people about. Absolutely amazing to be up here, by the way. Behind me is the absolute entirety of Stirling down there, guys, as you can see. Just ridiculous views we've got here. That was excellent, the reality is, I need to get back down here now, it's just absolutely pushing down now guys. So this uh, iced up path, just going to get even, any, even more slidey, but we'll crack on through here, see what needs to be done. Let's get ourselves back down this road, there's wee paths that lead off left, right and centre, man. there's obviously loads of different ways you can get up to this without necessarily coming up to the old... Yeah. You've got with the cafe and that is down the bottom, the actual Wallace Monument vicinity. Imagine a wee tent down there. Well, I've got my tent with me, guys. I've got everything that I need to do a bit of wild camping at the Wallace Monument if I so desire. But I don't think I desire it. I just don't, because it's pushing to. Guys. Excellent, guys. I'm just coming back down for the. Dizzying heights of the Wallace Monument, that was a buzz. So the weather's a farce. It's now pushing down and it is absolutely Baltic. But that was a joy up there. If you see, if you look closely, you can see it. And this is a few people coming towards me, so I'll cross this road and give them the opportunity to keep walking on that snow, which is making them no sleep right down the hill. And that's good vibes, guys. Where are we off to next? First thing I've got to do is get myself a towel, get this hair dry, and we will be jamming. You guys, just going by there, heading up, there's another wee guy out there, giving me a wave, some medieval looking carved out figure out there, just giving me a wee wave, I don't know if you can see him there guys, but he's giving me a wave there, see him? How you doing there, bro? Hope he's alright. Hey guys, I can't lie. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most freezing you could ever fucking be in your life, I'm kicking at a 7 and a half. But I want to see this path we've got here, guys. This is us in the way back down. It is very, very, very steep. And it is very, very ice ridden. So, if you don't mind, I'll just be sticking on this snow. My horns are freezing. Came out without my bonnet, which was a moment of ridiculousness. But it was a bit sunny in there before I embarked on this pilgrimage to the top of the Wallace Monument. So guys, that's basically a couple of weeks. I've managed to tick off the necropolis graveyard in Glasgow. The Wallace Monument in Stirling. Not talking about guys. We're heading to New York next. We're just charging down here, guys, as you can see. Trying not to kill myself. Rain is absolutely pelting down here. I seem to have gained a sail left me. <laughs> just been everywhere. So it's really essential that I get myself warmed up and dry. To continue with this vibe, guys. We've got a wee rainproof jacket. In the motor, which is a better. And we'll just get to the other side. Just at the bottom of the hill here, guys, this is the visitor centre right here, and that is your cafe in there, which is Legends Cafe. And we're going to get a sail back down here, guys. We are going to get warm, we're going to get dry. We're going to get 
Okay. So there's your stunning monument guys and this is your wee visitor centre at the bottom. First day I've been here in my life, just climbed up there. That is a belter. This guy's digging the veins as well, I think he said second thoughts about climbing up there. He's ready to do it and he's seen me and he must have thought to himself, Jesus Christ. And he's so against it guys. Back to the motor, let's get dry. Guys, what can I say? That was a joy. As you've seen there, we turned up, it was a wee bit... Well, there was a bit of sun out. And then in the pursuit of climbing the Walsh Monument, we started absolutely pushing down. Guys, it is literally two degrees. So, you can imagine what that rain felt like now you down there. I forgot my bonnet, which is a belter as well. I should have had that in my head. But guys, I'm glad to say I have now officially been up the Walsh Monument. Even back in the day when I was always in Stirling areas, I still never made it up here. I don't know why. I don't know why. Somebody just didn't go out to me. Sorry, boy. When we go for a stop up the Walls Monument, I can never remember it being said once. Is that was a buzz and a half. So as the hair back to no stuck to the heat. It's got the the old throw back about it. It's got the guys. It's got the bounce back, not on top of it. It's got that volume back that is so important to me when it comes to my hairstyle. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we do have the trusty 2.2 liters of milk. Kind of got maybe who's without it. As you can imagine. Ah, it is absolutely refreshing me. So just driving back down from the Wallace Monument here. First time of course that I've ever been as I'm as you know. And that was a joy. That was a good buzz. That killed some time. Oh, I'm looking for something to get up to guys and I most certainly got up to a belter. Here. Oh, 